Okay, oh yeah, right. Um, so, I also did the most recent book is this political one. Uh, uh, Politica, Adventures in Politics, 1980 to 2020. So it's got, so stories going right back to, to 80. And then it climaxes with the um, New Hampshire primaries this past election cycle in February and 2020. And, uh, there, and it's up in New Hampshire. And so uh, there was this one moment where Jack just sort of came into the space. And it was this climax of the last night of the primary. And it's kind of fun. <sighs> uh, then the most extraordinary thing happened when it was over. As the thousands of kids, when it was over, the, the climactic night, Bernie Sanders had this rally in a, a hockey arena. It was sold out with like 7,000 kids and uh, at, a, at, a, at a college and all these rock bands played and AOC was there and all this stuff so it was this huge like Woodstock of the thing with thousands of kids um, so as the thousands of kids streamed out of the arena right next to it was a big outdoor skating pond and in the joy of the frozen midnight moment in New Hampshire students began climbing over the fence and figure skating on it without skates here were the children of the euphoric night, inspired by a politician to dance the light fandango, waving blue Bernie signs as their batons, running and sliding, cheering and laughing, pirouetting in moonlight and celebrating their first brush with democracy. Bernie's rock star rally had flashed me back to Gary Hart in 1984. But this was taking me all the way back to my childhood in Winnipeg and going for skates in the early darkness of winter nights on a pond full of happy people in a tranquil <coughs> town reveling in the simple pleasures of frozen water. Snowbanks surrounded the ice and everyone's breath was visible in the cold and misty night cheeks were turning rosy and strangers were hugging strangers in the land where they let the children hug. Democracy had played out for the last week in New Hampshire and now voters were out playing in the last hours before tomorrow's voting. So I'm a guy who always spots a cool assemblage of friends and wrangles everyone together to get a great group photo. But I didn't know anyone here, and everyone was spread out all over the ice, sort of early social distancing. Um, then the next amazing thing happened. So you guys know those sprawling group photos taken at center ice when an NHL team wins the Stanley Cup, <laughs> go all over the place. Uh, and you know who Wayne Gretzky is. Well, did you know he invented those? True story. It was when he won uh, his last cup with the Oilers in 1988 at a game at their Edmonton home arena, their fourth cup in five years. And the players, who, after the players, you know, skated around the rink, hoisting the cup above their adrenaline heads, Captain Gretzky grabbed it back and suddenly started waving all the players to center ice to take a group shot with the authentic sweat and victory joy still fresh on their faces. First, it was just the core players. But more and more trainers and coaches and scouts and managers and all the people who made the team work came running out from the benches and sliding into the group. Well, that very scene played out on the frozen pond with this team celebrating the Sanders Cup on home ice. First, about a dozen friends gathered for a group shot. So I ran over in the role of photographer to capture their collective joy. Including, including because there wasn't a single member of the press present. I was it. And as I snapped their hooting faces, more people saw what was happening and came shooshing across the ice and sliding into them in this crazy cartoon of calamity. I had to keep backing up to get their ever-expanding team in the frame. And then more and more student photographers with phones joined my press pool. And this was the, all that was missing was a big silver cup in the middle. So, in America, when the sun goes down, 
From first catching Duval Patrick in a small dark basement room in a library, the New Hampshire primary built to a massive open air love-in of screaming, laughing joy. This was democracy in action, in real time, in America. From old folks gathered in a gym on a Tuesday afternoon to hear Joe Biden, to thousands of college kids filling an arena and spontaneously creating their own escapades of icecapades, participating in the political process is healthy and thriving. It's not one group or one voice, but a collective of choirs singing songs of joy and progress, of innocence and experience, and forever going further. Yeah. Yeah.